What's up guys, welcome back to RPEG Electronics. It's almost Lunar New Year, so today I got something new for you. It's the Jaguar Sunyang uh, amplifier, the PA203BT version. This just came in today, all right? And this is new for 2022. It's an improved version of the PA203G. It has a smaller depth, so that it's easier to put into uh, smaller cabinets and has Bluetooth function, okay? So it's easy to pair to phones if you wanna do it that way or wirelessly connect it to your TV if you wanna cut one cord, okay? But of course for karaoke, we like to do everything wired. All right, so I'm gonna explain real quick what a karaoke amplifier is versus a mixer versus a home theater receiver and why we use them. If you're doing a professional karaoke setup, you're gonna want one of these because it's all contained here. This is your amp that powers passive speakers, meaning speakers that don't plug into the wall, all right? If you plug into the wall, you don't use this, all right? It has a mixer built in, so there's no lag, there's no delay, there's no going through Dolby Digital, none of the home theater receiver stuff, okay? And the sound is powerful because it has the mic boosting built into the, into the amp itself, okay? This one is 360 watts per, uh, RMS, which is the real power that is gonna put out. A lot of manufacturers like to spice up their numbers by saying, oh, it's a 500 watt amplifier, but that's the max power, that's not RMS. That's not what you're gonna be getting. So that means their real power is 250 divided by how many channels it has, meaning how many speakers can plug in. So if you're 360, uh, the, the max is 720 then, and then divide it by four channels, okay? So each, uh, is, each channel is gonna have about 100 and, uh, for 180 watts of power, which is more than enough for most usages, all right? Don't think that you're gonna open up like a bar or a club with like, you know, 10 booming speakers powering by one of these. That's not gonna happen. They, they, they need much bigger, much, much, much more expensive amplifiers to do that, all right? This is for like a small to medium-sized karaoke room with two to four speakers, all right? BMB speakers work great, that's my favorite. TJ speakers work well too, if you can find them. And then if you're desperate, EV speakers are the, the next brand down. Okay, I'm gonna show you real quick on the back, how it looks, how to connect it, what we get. This is the international import model. What does that mean? It means that even though this is a made in Korea imported brand, they make it for us in uh, American voltage, 120 volts uh, with 60 Hertz, okay? If you get a 220 volt one, you're not gonna have a good experience. A 220 volt amplifier or any electronics is gonna work at half power if you're lucky. If you're not lucky, it's gonna burn something down, all right? So this is the proper way to do it. I'm gonna zoom in here. All you need to worry about is the inputs, the output for the line, and the speaker outputs. The input A and B, this is what you're gonna plug your karaoke into, all right? So the output from your karaoke goes into input of the amp. So I'm gonna plug in my cable here, all right? I got my red, I got my white. That's my right and left, okay? And this is this is just going straight into my in and on karaoke output, okay? So we're gonna refocus back here. The line output is gonna be used for a secondary amplifier if you have that kind of scenario, or more realistically, just plug it into a subwoofer. So if you wanna add bass, like even more powerful bass, plug it into here, okay? Microphone out is just the mic only sound. We don't really need that. And then the recording out is for a spare for like recording studios, but most people are not gonna use that. Your speaker outputs are here. They use speaker clips, all right? Very easy. So A and B, that's two sets, okay? So if you plug in two speakers, it goes right, left, that's set A. If you wanna plug in a second set, right, left, that's set B. Don't, don't plug them in up and down. Don't cross or anything like that. You're, you're gonna get some weirdness, all right, or burn it out. Okay, so if you buy it from us, we're gonna include the, the speaker wire in the premium package. If you don't buy the premium package, you can buy the speaker wire separately, 15 feet or 25 feet available. For the most part, 15 feet is good for home usage. All right, so here's how you install it. You push the clip, stick the wire in, let the clip go. Give it a little tug and it's tight, you're done. We're gonna do that for right and left, okay? And that's one speaker. You're gonna have to plug in another one for the other speaker. I'm only gonna do one today just to show you because I don't have, I have limited table space here. All right. So now that that's done, let's refocus our camera. I'm gonna push this out the way. All right. 
I'm gonna bring in one of my spare home theater speakers, all right? You should not be using this for karaoke, honestly, because the tweeter over here is where the voice comes from, and this is only an inch. This is too small for real karaoke use, honestly. I mean, if you're just gonna be singing for fun at home, not a big deal, or for demonstration purposes, but music will sound fine. Live voice coming from something this small is like trying to use a straw as a watering hose. It's not powerful enough, okay? But just for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna use this one because it's pretty. All right, so a real karaoke speaker will have two of these much bigger and you know smaller woofers. Okay, so in the back of this one. All right, this is rather heavy. Okay, we have binding posts. We have screw terminals here, okay? So these uh, can be used in two ways. If you have banana plugs, all right, there are optional plugs that can put onto here. You can stick them right in the middle, all right? But obviously with bare wire, you stick them in the middle, they fall right out. So the trick here, all right, on top, okay, there's actually a hole on the top here. Let me just show you that real quick. All right, you see that little hole there? Right in the center, what you do is you put your, gonna restabilize, you put your wire through the hole down, okay, make sure the wire is touching, the inside don't just don't just go straight through like like this and you know there's no connection make sure the bare wire is touching the brass and then you lock it into place with the nut okay all speakers regardless of what, whatever type of passive speaker will have one of these it'll either be a screw in or it'll be a clip all right the only exception to that is a proprietary brands that use um, something called a speak on connector and you need a special wire for that. That one uh, you have to get on Amazon or something. That's a plug-in, all right? They have their own pins and then the other side is bare wire which you can plug into your amp. Okay, we're good here. We have black, red, that's it, okay? Let's zoom back out and let's go through the connections. I mean the uh, function. Okay. So we, I know this looks very intimidating. It looks like there's a lot of um, knobs here, but it's really not, okay? The main ones here, we have two sets of mics. One, two, three, four, all right? The top row controls the first two and the second row controls the second two, simple enough. Why? Because you can plug in two different brands of mics and you, can, you might have two different types of sound. So you can tweak them to your liking. You say, I want more echo on one, lower, lower mids, lower highs, whatever, on one and another uh, set you want, oh, maybe I want no echo. I can turn it all the way down and just use it flat for speaking. All right, one for singing, one for speaking. People do that. All right. So my advice to you, if you are a first time user and you don't know much about karaoke yet, just leave everything in the middle. Don't, 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 touch, don't touch anything. Leave it in the middle and then tweak it one at a time to see the effects. So low is the bass, mid is the mid range sound and high is treble, okay? Not that hard to understand. The gains, this pushing this down will cut the gain of your mic a little bit if your mic doesn't have an adjustable volume and it's just way too low or too, uh, way too high, okay? But for the most part, don't touch. Stereo and mono echo, I leave it at stereo. Leave everything in the middle, okay? The repeat is how many times it echoes. Hello, 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 hello. Delay is how much between. Hello, 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 okay? You have two options here, music and Bluetooth, okay? So you see the indicator, if it's the nipple is out, that means it's on line mode, using that RCA cable to the karaoke. If the line is in, it's on Bluetooth mode. And here, if you have it out, music, it says A and B, there was two inputs in the back, all right? This, this nipple here controls A, push it in, push it in, controls B, okay? So that means you can have two sets of uh, karaoke's or one D karaoke, one TV, DVD player, Apple TV, something, okay? The master volume controls both the mics and the music sound, how high you want it, left and right, you can adjust them. The bottom row here controls the volume of the music, so the line input or the Bluetooth input, how loud do you want it? This is the balance, leave this in the middle at all times, all right? Pan and balance, always leave it in the middle because otherwise you'll be having one sound on one side and no sound on the other. Lows, mids, highs, same thing. And then the master low, mid, high. This will control everything at once, all right? I know it seems kind of redundant, but they let you tune everything separately or tune them all together. So 
I'm gonna flip it on, okay? Right now, it's on music mode. I'm gonna put it on mode A, because that's what my uh, karaoke was. So I have my karaoke playing some music over here. I've done many videos on karaoke already. You can see that in my other videos. And if I turn up, I'll get sound. Okay. I can adjust the bass. Can turn up the highs, make it really crispy. Or I can lower the bass, just make it voice. Lower the volume of the music. And lower the volume of the speaker, because I'm only using one. That's the one speaker I have over here, okay? If you plug in two, obviously you have to turn up left and right. Okay, all right. Now I'm just gonna show you the real, uh, oh, the microphone inputs. All mics have the same output, the one-fourth jack. All right, if you don't have a one-fourth jack, you're gonna need an adapter. Push out. Here is my simple Tonor uh, wireless microphone. I use this for demos because it's battery powered and I don't really have to do too much. Done, that's it, that's karaoke. Here's a mic. Turn up the volume. Hello, hello. All right, and you have a very powerful, very smooth sound. All right, echo's a little bit high, so I wanna turn down my echo. Hello. I can flatten it. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. Hello. Hello. This is singing time. All right. And then you can lower the delay or the repeat to your liking. So regardless of which mics you use, expensive or cheap, these are, by the way, on Amazon, two for 50 or like 60 now. It's some inflation, but they're battery powered. This is battery powered, so you don't have to charge or anything. This is pretty, pretty great, okay? Any mics work, just plug them straight into here. All right. The other thing I wanted to show you real quick is the Bluetooth function. So let's say, you know, you want to just Bluetooth from your TV, karaoke connected TV through HDMI or anything through the TV. Let's push it into Bluetooth mode. All right. All right. So now we have a no device signal here. We're going to wait for a second to see the um, Jaguar. All right. So this is Bluetooth mode disconnected. Okay, Jaguar is showing up here. And it says Bluetooth mode connected. Now any music I play from here will have the same effect. I actually have no music here. All right, so just play something. Play some commercials. All right, and of course, that just works perfectly. So, if you are playing through Bluetooth, you can get plug in your mics and you'll be ready to go. So this is a good way to connect if you're desperate uh, to cut a wire or you just can't run another RCA cable out here. All right, the thing I don't like about Bluetooth is it's wireless, which means it's subject to interference and distance. So if your TV is super far away from this, it's probably not viable, okay? And wireless can always get interference from other wireless things where you might hear static or things like that. So you have to be careful when it comes to using Bluetooth. But for the most part, it's Pretty there. It's pretty good. It's nice to have to function finally on a professional grade karaoke uh, amplifier. Most amplifiers do that are professional grade that you can open a business with do not have um, Bluetooth. All right. And uh, oh, and one more thing that uh, if you're getting like squealing sounds for your mics, just turn down your highs. That's usually caused by too much too hot too much gain on the highs. Okay, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Happy New Year. If you have any questions, comment below. This will be available on my website, rpegelectronics.com, and we'll be able to ship it to you. I'm gonna give you guys a fair warning. It's currently uh, January 2022. 
prices are not gonna get lower going forward, all right? I know uh, for the, a lot of my clients, the first thing they ask me, oh, can you give me a discount? The answer is no, because one, I don't know you. Two, um, the cost of things is just going up. It's just just the way inflation is working during COVID, all right? So yeah, don't, don't bother asking for that, okay? Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll have new videos like this and guides to make your life easier every week.